In this section, I will teach you one problem about two-way classification. Three varieties of crops A, B, C are tested in random, randomized block design with four replication. The yield are given below. Here, given that three varieties and four replications. Test whether there is difference between varieties. Test also whether yield of A, a differs significantly from that B. This is the question. So, I took all observations, varieties, replications. And I wrote this column sum, this column sum. This column sum. This column sum. First column is 8 plus 7 plus 6, 21. 5 plus 6 plus 4, 15. Next, 8 plus 6 plus 10, 24. 6 plus 9 plus 9, 24. These are the column sum. And I also wrote row sums. First row sum is 24. Second row sum is 28. Third row sum is 32. And all sum of observation is 84. First step, step is First, I took a total number of observations. How many observations in this table have? 12 observations. 4 replication and 3 variety. So, 4 into 3, 12. Total observation is 12. Next, we need to find T. T is sum of all values. Sum of all observations. So, we take all observations. 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6 plus 9 plus 9. Sum of all values is 84. So, we got a n is 12 and t is 84. So, I calculate t square by n. By calculator, we got 588. Next up. Sum of square total. That is sum of square of all values minus t square by n. So we take observations square and add it. So 6 square plus 7 square plus 8 square plus etc. Plus 9 square minus t square by n. So sum of square of values is we got a 624. And t square by n is 588. So, SST we got 36. Next, we find out SSC. SSC is sum of square of columns. So, sigma x1 is a first column sum. Sigma x2 is second column sum. Sigma x3 is third column sum. Sigma x4 is fourth column sum. And n1, n2, n3, n4 are first Number of observations. First columns. Sec number of observations in second column. N3 is number of observations in third column. N4 is number of observations in fourth column. So here we substitute first column sum 21 square by number of observations in that column is 3. 15 square by 3, 24 square by 3 plus 24 square by 3 minus t square by n. So, sum of square of columns is 606 minus 588. So, you got SSC is 80. Next, you find out SSR. Sigma x1 square by n1, sigma x2 square by n2, sigma x3 square by n3. Here, sigma x1 is sum of row. So, here, sum of first row is 24. So, we take a sigma x1 square. 24 square divided by number of observations in that column is 4. So, 24 square by 4 plus second column sum is 28. 28 square by 4. Next, third column sum is 32. 32 square by 4. Minus t square by n. 
minus t square by n. So we got sum of square of rho is 596 minus we know t square by n is 588. So we got SSR is 8. Next you find SSE. SSE is SST minus SSC minus SSR. SST is 36. SST is 36. SSC is 18. SSR we got 8. So we have 3 observations. Uh, 3 values sum. Uh, sum of square of total, sum of square of column, sum of square of row. So, sum of square of replication is SST minus SSC minus SSR. So, 36 minus 18 minus 8. So, 10. SSE is 10. So, we have sum of square of, oops, uh, sum of squares of total, sum of square of column, sum of square of row and sum of square of replication. Next, you need to find MSC, mean square column, MSR, mean square row and MSE, mean square replication. MSC is SSC divided by C minus 1. We got SSC is 18 and C is, we have 4 columns, number of columns. So, C is 4. 4 minus 1. So, 18 by 3, we got 6. So, MSC is 6. Next, MSR. MSR is SSR divided by R minus 1. SSR is 8 divided by number of rows. Number of rows is 1, 2, 3. So, 3 minus 1. 2. So, 4. So, MSR is 4. Next, you need to find a MSE. MSE equal to SSE divided by C minus 1 into R minus 1. SSE is, what is the value of SSE? 10. 10 divided by Number of columns is 4, 4 minus 1. Number of rows is 3, 3 minus 1. So, 10 divided by 6. That is equal to 1.66. So, MSE is 1.66. Next, we wrote ANOVA table. We draw ANOVA table. Source of variation, sum of square, degree of freedom, mean square and F. So, source of between column, between row, replication, total. So, sum M of square is SSC, SSR, SSE and SST. Degree of freedom C minus 1. The basis of between column C minus 1. Between row R minus 1. Replication C minus 1 into R minus 1. And the total is N minus 1. Next mean square MSC. MSR, MSE and FC calculated F. So, SSC is uh, 18 and SSR is 8. SSC is 10, SST is 36. Here, SST is 36, SSC 18, SSR 8, SSE 10. Next, uh, C minus 1 is 3. R minus 1 is 2 uh, and replication degree of freedom is 6 uh, and here 11. 
n minus 1. Total degree of freedom is 11. Next, MSC is, uh, MSC is 6, MSR is 4. MSC is 6, MSR is 4 and MSE is 1.667. Next, you calculate FC. FC is MSC. Divided by MSC divided by MSE. So MSC is 6 by 1.66. So uh, you calculate you used by calculator, you got FC is 3.6. Next FR is MSR divided by MSE. MSR you got 4. 4. 4 by MSE is 1.667. So you got 2.4. So calculated value of FC is 3.6 and FR is 2.4. Here 2.4 and 3.6. Next, you need to calculate uh, table de value. So, between column, degree of freedom is C minus 1 comma R minus 1 into C minus 1. C is 4, R is 3. So, 3 comma 3 into 2. So, degree of freedom between column is 3, 6. So, you used F table. You take F table in the statistical book. Uh, N1 is 3 and N2 is 6. In the level of significance, you take 5 percentage. That is 0 0.05. So, FC you got... 3.6. Calculate uh, table the value of FC is 3.6. So here, sorry, table the value of FC uh, you got 4.76. Sorry, sorry. Uh, table the value is 4.76. So you take a uh, degree of freedom is 3,6. C minus 1. Comma R minus 1, Z minus 1. You got 3 comma 6. And level of significance is 5 percentage. And you got table the value is 4.76. So here between column you got FC. Calculated FC is 3.6. And table the FC is 4.76. So calculated FC Less than tabled FC. Therefore, we accept null hypothesis. Null hypothesis. That is, uh, no significant difference column mean. Similarly, between row, a degree of freedom is R minus 1 comma C minus 1 into R minus 1. So, you got 3 minus 1, 2 comma 6. You take table, F table, you got FR is calculated value, sorry, tabled value of FR is in the degree of freedom is 2, 6 and level of significance is 5 percentage. So you got table to value of FR is 5.14. So here calculated value uh, you got 2.4. So calculated value less than table to value. So here there is. No, uh, here we can accept null hypothesis. 
about the row that means uh, uh, there is no there is no significant difference so difference between varieties here we can conclude calculated value of column is more than less than the table value so no uh, no difference between means of row column that means uh, there is no significant difference uh, in the replication column in that means uh, replication here uh, calculated value of row f value of ro, uh, row is less than table value of row therefore we can conclude there is no significant difference between varieties our null hypothesis is all means are equal so here no this h not accepted that means all means are equal in the column and all means are equal in the row that means no significant difference between a replication and no significant difference between uh, varieties okay